Uncle Dave, Uncle Dave, you are a jobber. Welcome back to Fog Wrestling. It's actually tragic. It's actually, see how much Dave Meltzer is going to defend AEW in this war against NXT. I say this war like, I mean, <laughs> what sort of weird nerdy version of the Gaza Strip is this? But, right, let's be number 11 under a rock. We uh, recently brought to you the ratings talking about AW and Dynamite. So AW did 637,000 viewers. It is the sixth lowest Dynamite this year. So again, not a not a good rating. There's there's nothing really to be had there. AW, which was the, the last video uploaded, in the, uh, no, NXT, sorry, which was the last video uploaded in this channel, if you want to go check it out, did 702,000. So... Again, NXT beats Dynamite by 65,000. So, Alistair McKenzie tweeted this to Dave Meltzer. Update to my post. It's Shawn Michaels with the mic. I believe it's Sting, but Shawn Michaels' face photoshopped on him. NXT wins again. Dave Meltzer then tweeted, Not 0.16. In 72 million homes beats 0.19 and 66 million. Math, not your strong suit. So, obviously what Meltzer's referring to here is the 18 to 40. Now, who cares about the 18 to 40? More people care about the overall viewership, right? And obviously what, you know, Meltzer's like, he's trying to hype up the fact that NXT is available in 6 million more homes. Yo, that's all good. NXT, it's available in 6 million more homes, right? So, theoretically, it's automatically got more chance of getting more viewers. But, AEW is getting 600,000 viewers when it's got the potential of getting 66 million if everyone tuned in. So, it's pathetic. Dave Meltzer is a sad little man. Now, NXT did 115,200 in the 18 to 49, while well, AEW did 125,000, so they are about what 100, 100, you know, 10,000 behind AEW in the demographic. But what's worse, right? Being a, a behind them in the demographic or the overall rating, no matter what way you spin it, NXT beat AEW, and the people want to argue, right? Hell, AEW beat NXT. In the 18 to 49, by all means, you can go ahead and say that. But see, this Dave Meltzer trying to be a credible journalist and trying to pretend that everything's hunky dory and that AW1 it, it, it's pathetic. It is honestly pathetic. And as I've said previously, this guy gets paid off, right, by Tony Khan. There is no two ways around it, man. There is no two ways around it and that's what he said two hours ago I mean you could argue context in all given stations and what they should do but AEW should do better than AEW or NXT it should be NXT by 20% well as you've clearly heard it, it's getting beat by this week by NXT by about what 10% about, about 10% it, Dave Meltzer man you know, I just, I just don't understand, understand this, you know, I honestly, I'm baffled, I'm, I'm honestly baffled by Dave Meltzer, every week this guy goes above and beyond to defend AEW and it's tragic man, it seriously is, they're both, both shows are doing deady ratings. You know what I mean? AEW is paying people five million a year. The whole NXT roster probably is fucking on less combined than what Okada is making. Obviously, that's not true, right? But <laughs> prophetic, like Okada, Monet, and Osprey combined, that's fifteen million a year. I would say that's probably more than what the, the whole NXT roster is getting. And if it's not more, I would say. It's very close to being more. So what's the real disaster show? Tony Khan's running out of ideas and you know, he's got unlimited money and it appears a lot of it is going into Uncle Dave's back pocket, but this is pathetic. 